Hey guys, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for speaking with me today and accepting your free video. So today we're just going to go over a few tips that you can apply right away that's really going to help your online presence as well as capturing more of your organic leads. Now it's important to note that nearly 70% of your organic leads are going to come from this website. So your website does need to be properly optimized so you can capture those leads. So we're on your website. You have a decent looking website. You've got separate pages for each service, which is awesome. It's exactly what you want. Now you do want to make sure that all of these pages have their own original content and that they're focused on their own local buyer intent keywords. Um, I noticed your phone number up here. If you could make this a click to call, that would be even better because you want to make it as easy as possible for your customers to reach you. And I would actually have a contact form here. So as soon as they land on their page, they don't have to look. They can just click and contact you. Um, now, I also noticed you have multiple service areas, which is awesome. You definitely want a separate page. For every service area that you service that has search volume. But unfortunately, if you actually go to these pages, um, they're not actually doing anything to help you. Um, they have the mention of the location here, but there are no keywords, no local keywords. Um, there's a summary of your services. Um, but there's no local keywords. You need a repetition of two to three times um, on for every keyword. You need 250 words for every keyword you're going to rank, but you need the repetition of that keyword, and you need an exact match keyword, and people search differently. So there's multiple different variations of similar keywords that you could be using here to actually capture that local traffic for this location. Um, these should be like mini home pages, summaries of each of your services, but focused on a location with location based keywords. Um, but again, all pages need original content. Otherwise, again, that will defeat the purpose because Google won't index you and won't rank you and you still won't be found for your services. Now, um, Going down here. This looks pretty dated, um, but Google doesn't rank based on appearance. It is all based on content. Content is key. I'm not really seeing any real content. I'm seeing lists. Um, Google needs real sentences. Think of like a paper, if you will that has titles, subtitles, and information in paragraphs that needs to flow good. It needs to be readable. Um, your content is supposed to be built for Google. Um, and what Google likes is um, good content focused around your local buyer intent keywords. Um, and so you need to rework your content on this page. Um, I did not look at your service pages, so you'll want to double check those. Um, but you need a minimum of a thousand to fifteen hundred words or more of content on your homepage focused on these services and your local buyer intent keywords. Those are the keywords your customers are actively searching right now for your services in your area. They are less likely to care about your brand than they are about the services. And so um, as important as your brand is, your focus actually needs to be on buyer intent keywords. Now your top competitor, if you can call it that, um, for water damage in Marietta is Restoration One. Now, yes, they are a franchise, but you are at an advantage because franchises you don't have to compete against the entire franchise. You're only competing against a specific location. And franchisees 
are not allowed to modify their content, refocus it to um, focus on the keywords they actually want to rank for. So they actually have to do a lot more work to try and rank for those keywords. So um, you have the ability to add a bunch more content, work on your keyword strategy, add a bunch of blogs, etc., cetera, um, which you're currently doing the blogging. But um, you just need to have more content. You need to refocus all of your content on the keywords. Um, your blogging needs to be done correctly um, for it to actually help you. And um, then you're going to need to support your website with SEO so that it can be found. Now, if we look here, you have a score of 10 out of 100 in Google's Trust Flow, which isn't great. Um, but this score is based all on your backlinks and referring domains. Not all are created equal. And while you do need a lot of these, they need to be relevant, authoritative links. And they need to be do follow links so that they share the power of the high ranking sites to help you to rank. Now, um, Google only gives you credit for one backlink per referring domain. So everything else is spam. And now if we look here, you only have 153 that are actually do follows. So only 153 out of over 1200 backlinks are doing anything to help your website. You have been indexed for over 700 keywords. Unfortunately, most of those are national keywords from your blogs. And you are getting over 400 people to your website a month, but most of those are from your blogs, and so they're not going to convert. Um, so looking at your keywords here, you do have a ton of keywords on the first page of Google, which is good. But if we actually look where your traffic is coming from, we have your brand and we have all these national keywords coming from your blogs. Now blogs can be amazing when done correctly. Um, and that would be creating a blog based around your local keywords and then linking that, um, having a hyperlink in the blog for that keyword and linking it to the page that you want to rank and then going and getting a guest post for the blog. And then that blog becomes your own internal guest post, which becomes very powerful, very, very authoritative. Um, but it looks like you're doing what a lot of people do when it comes to blogs. Um, and you're going and trying to just rank that blog because of the amount of volume and that doesn't help you at all um, unless you're trying to sell something on your blog sell advertising or something um, because what happens is when you rank these national keywords you're going to be found nationally for those keywords and when the people come to your website and realize that you can't help them for their service they're going to leave. They're not going to convert into customers. So you really do need to refocus your strategy on the local buyer intent keywords and get those to rank, not just in Marietta, but in each of your service areas so that you can capture that local traffic and convert them into customers. Now your competitor, we don't care how their domain is rated because you're not competing against the whole franchise. You're only competing against the area and they have a 13 with only eight backlinks and 22, um, I'm sorry, 22 backlinks and eight referring domains. And none of those are even do follows. So, um, that just goes to show you that not all are created equal. You're going to have to beat their eight referring domains in quality as well as quantity. <laughs> this location only has 13 keywords. And they're getting 24 people to their website. Um, the reason they're your top competitor is because for water damage restoration in Marietta, they are number one. Um, so they're going to be super easy for you, for you guys to beat. But if you really want to capture mm -hmm. all of that traffic, you really need to focus on those local buyer intent keywords, your content, and making sure you're linking using your backlinks the way that they they should be to rank your local keywords. And then the last piece is this Google My Business section. 
And it looks like you guys are doing pretty good here. Um, but you do want to be in the top three because 30% of people um, search here and don't go any further. So if you're not in the top three in your locations or for your services um, and those keywords, then you're going to need um, to do some optimizations. And one of the most important parts of that is your citations. And that's going to be the name of your business, your address, phone number, and website. And listing those in a bunch of directories like Yelp and Yellow Pages. And making sure you just have a lot more of those citations and better quality ones than your competitors. Now, if you follow all the tips I have provided you today, your website has the opportunity to be number one across Google for every one of your services and in every one of your service areas. Using those local buyer intent keywords when supported by your SEO link. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it useful and would really love to get your feedback on it. And if you have any questions, go ahead and give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.